Can a complete beginner to drop servicing start a drop servicing business and make a thousand dollars within the first week or so? That's what we're gonna figure out in this new video series on my channel. Welcome back to the zero to a thousand dollar drop servicing challenge. This is episode three, and in today's episode, we are going to set up and start running our Google Ads campaign. I've never used Google Ads before, so I'm super excited to dive in and check it out. It seems a lot different from Facebook ads as well as Instagram. So if you missed the first two episodes, here's a a quick recap. In episode one, we researched on Fiverr and chose our service that we're going to be reselling on our website. And then in episode two, the last episode, I spent more than five hours creating a sales funnel using a software called Kartra. So now that you know what we've been up to, it's time to start the advertising component of the drop servicing business. Let's go. I literally just got finished filming part two of the series, so I am a little bit tired. Anyways, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. For those of you that don't know me already, hello, my name is Meg and on my channel, I make videos testing out different online business ideas as well as different side hustle ideas and basically just non-traditional ways of making money. So if that's something that you're interested in, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below, turn on the bell so that you're notified when the next video drops. And I mean, while you're at it, you might as well give this video a thumbs up. It helps out a lot more than you know. So for those of you that don't know what drop servicing is, I will give you guys a quick explanation of how it works. Drop servicing is basically the same concept as drop shipping, but instead of selling physical products, you are selling services and we are not the ones performing those services. We are getting them from a a seller on Fiverr for a cheaper price and then listing them on our sales funnel for a higher price and then we're basically keeping the profit in between what our customers purchase the service on our website for and what we pay the Fiverr freelancers for. So we are going to jump in and start running these Google ads. First things first, I don't have a domain for InfoShop yet so I have to go to Google domains and I'm going to purchase the domain before I get started with Google ads. I just looked up info shop which is the name of my job servicing business for my infographic design service and that is not available for the dot com ending info shop collective info shop co i feel like just co sounds a bit weird info shop collective We're just gonna we're just gonna have to send it with this one. So we're buying the domain, twelve dollars. Now I'm going to open Kartra in another tab and connect that domain. Okay, so now I'm gonna do some boring things to set this up and I'll be back when it's time to set up the Google campaign. A few moments later. All right, what's up guys? So I just finished setting up my domain. It said it might not like fully be connected for up to like 48 hours. So I'm hoping that we can still go ahead with this Google ads process and hopefully still use the custom domain because I don't want to use like, I think my Kartra account is like the Megra com, so I don't want to use that but I mean we got to get this started so I'm on Google Ads and I'm going to click start now okay so when you go to start a new Google Ads campaign do not select any of the goals because then they're going to try to I, I don't know how to explain it but it's like when you go on Facebook ads and you go to run Facebook ads and instead of going to like the ads manager account you go to like the quick start this is whatever you click here it's going to do that so you don't want to do that because you want to set up your own campaign from scratch and there are a bunch of tutorials on YouTube about how to do that I was just watching one earlier so I'm just gonna follow what I learned in that tutorial so we're gonna do create a campaign without a goals guidance. I mean, of course, our goal is going to be to get sales, but we wanna start this campaign from scratch. So we're going to select create a campaign without guidance. Okay, so when it says select a campaign type, we have the option to do search, display, shopping, video, app, smart, or discovery and we are going to select search because we want to show up in the search results okay so down here it says select the results that you want to get from this campaign according to the tutorial that i've been watching we don't want to select 
any of these. So I'm just gonna click continue and see where it takes me. Now we're in the general settings. The type is a search campaign. So I'm gonna name this campaign infographic ad one and we're gonna come up down here to where it says networks and the search networks ads can appear near Google search results. That's what we want because we wanna show up in search results. However, we don't really have any display ads because we're not showing pictures. This isn't a physical product that we're advertising. So we're not gonna go with that and I'm going to un check the display network. We're just going to go with search. Here I'm going to click show more settings and here the only thing that I'm going to edit is the start date and the end date. I know that I want to start this right away but I don't know when I want it to end. So campaign URL options I'm just going to leave that alone. Now we're going to come down here to targeting and audiences and we're going to choose the location that we want to target our ads to. So locations help you target your ads to people located in or who show interest in a geographic location. So I'm gonna click location options and it'll show me more options. So for this, I really, I could do the United States and Canada just to keep it a little bit more simple. I'm just going to target the United States. So people in or who show interest in your targeted locations. Okay, I'm going to switch from that to the second option, which is people in or regularly in your targeted locations. And the reason why I'm not gonna go with the first option that it says recommended here is because somebody like all the way across the world in Europe or anywhere can regularly search for locations in the United States without like living there. So I mean, I guess since this is an online business, I guess it doesn't matter. I could do all countries and territories, but just to keep it a little bit more simple, I'm just going to do the United States. Okay. And then obviously since my website is in English, the only language that I'm going to target is English. Okay. So after languages come down here and it says audiences, I think this is like a retargeting setting. So I'm going to skip audiences for now because I don't have any audiences and I'm just going to come down to this budget and bidding section. So define how much you want to spend and how you want to spend it. I don't really know how much I want to spend. For the month, you won't pay more than your daily budget times the average number of days in a month. Some days you might spend less than your daily budget and on others you might end up, you might spend up to twice as much. No. Oh my God. I could, okay. I'm going to have to like closely monitor how much, how much money Google is spending on a daily basis. So for now, I'm, I'm just going to put $15 a day. I was going to go a bit higher, but thinking back to when I did the keyword research and how low the competition was and how low the bids were, I'm just going to keep it at $15 a day and hopefully Google doesn't spend all my money. Okay, so we have our daily budget. We are going to enter the average you want to spend each day. Maybe I should put $10. Let's start with $10 a day. Okay, so let's come down to bidding. What do we want to focus on? Choose the metric you'd like to focus on for your campaign and see bidding options to help you optimize for it. Okay, so it's already on clicks. Okay, we're gonna select our own bidding strategy because that's how you manually do it and we want to have we want to have that control the same way that you would with a Facebook ad campaign. And for this, we're going to do manual CPC. Setting bids manually may result in lower performance. Use smart bidding. No, see, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> All right, so my camera battery died but this one actually got to 100%, so we're lit. We're living out here. Let's see, what do I have to catch you guys up on? So I changed the ad schedule. Our ads will only be running from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m., which makes sense because those are like, you know, more common business hours. Since drop servicing is a B2B business, not a B2C business, like business to consumer, it's a business to business, business, <laughs> if you guys get what I'm saying. Since we're advertising to other business people and not to the average consumer like you are with drop shipping, where the average consumer could be scrolling through Facebook or Instagram until like 3 a.m. Since we're advertising to other businesses instead, we want to only have our ads running within those business hours. If our target audience is not up at like 3 a.m. searching for infographic design services, then there's no point in running our ads at that time. So let's scroll down. Okay. And then I also changed the ad rotation to do not optimize and rotate ads indefinitely. All right. And then I added some call out extensions. So I added the phrase satisfaction guaranteed as well as seven day delivery. Okay. So I'm not going to be adding my phone number. So down here where it says call extensions, you can add your phone number if you are starting like a drop servicing 
agency that you plan on taking serious. I'm just doing this for like a fun test video series. But if I was seriously considering starting this business, I would probably add my phone number. All right, so now we come to part two. We're going to be setting up our ad groups. So we're going to leave that as standard ad group and we're gonna call ad group number one. We're just gonna call this infographic design and I'm going to set the default bid to $2. I think that's pretty competitive. Okay, so the default bid is the maximum cost per click bid for an ad group. It's how much you're willing to spend per click. If I scroll down here, I'm going to enter in some keywords related to infographic design. I'm just going to type in infographic design. Okay, I think that that's good. All right, so now that I have some keywords added, I'm going to scroll down and just click save and continue and going to move on to step three and start creating the actual ads. For each ad group, we recommend you create at least three ads that closely relate to the theme of your keywords. So I have to add the URL. If I add InfoShop Collective, I just have to hope that it's going to work because I don't want to add the megrai.kartra.com. I'm trying to get through this. My batteries out here really just keep dying on me. All right, so I had an issue adding my final URL within my ad because my Google domain is not like connected yet to my Kartra account because apparently that can take up to 48 hours. So I guess I should have bought the domain a lot earlier. I mean, maybe I could save this and start running it tomorrow or whenever the domain gets like connected or approved or whatever has to happen, processed. I don't know what Kartra's doing. Okay, so now I'm going to do the headlines. There's headline one, headline two, and headline three. And when I type stuff, you'll see what that looks like very shortly. So for the first headline, I'm going to use the most important keyword, which is infographic design, infographic design services. Okay, so for headline one, I'm just gonna put infographic design. For headline two, I'm gonna put professional services. Okay guys, so I just finished setting up my Google ads. My camera battery did die again. So I don't remember when my camera battery died, but I did screen record the rest of the process after it died. But I mean, I was basically done. I was just doing the headlines and I only created one ad within that one ad group. I might go back and create some more because they do recommend that you create at least three ads. Okay, so I think that my ads are running. Hopefully Kartra and my Google domain can like sync up soon so that it doesn't keep showing the megrai.kartra as the URL. Okay, so anyways, I'm finished setting up my Google ads. So now we wait for the results and that will be in the finale of this series. So I'm going to wrap up this video here. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys got some value following along as I set up this Google ads campaign because this is completely new territory. We've never done Google ads on this channel. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already and hit the bell so that you're notified when the finale drops and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.